Here's the field now. Race number four, tonight's second division. The Ohio State Trot, sponsored by Midland Acres. Number one is an overcomer gelding, owned by Willard Miller of Jamestown and Alan Busco of Xenia. Willard Miller, the trainer, making his 10th start this evening. Earnings of $7,300. Willard Miller driving the one over his butler. The two as they carry the message, owned by Tyler Amos of Navarre, Ohio. Edward Thomas is the uh, trainer with a mark of two minutes and two last week in Ohio Sires. Earnings of $11,800. Dave Miller behind Timania. The three, a, a basin of Stone King, owned by Pius Solon of Canton and Thomas Davis of 84, Pennsylvania. Pius Solon is the uh, trainer, making his eighth career start. Earnings of $7,000, make that $9,700. Placing last week in 202, Stonehenge tonight, driven by Pius Solon. The four is a bay gelding signed by Well Done. Number the CSI Farms of Fickery, North Carolina, Frank Todd Jr., the uh, trainer. One year of two, four career starts, a mark of 207 at Basiris. Earnings of $7,000 coming off two consecutive wins. It's CSI, Dan the Man with Frank Todd Jr. The five is a noble George Colt. Joe by Frank, second ace of Gibsonburg, Ohio, Tony Price trains, making his sixth career start tonight. Coming in from Ohio first stakes at Northfield Park, Tony Price driving George's shadow. Number six is an overcomer, Colt, shown by Ed Melanax of Amherst, Ohio, Kelly O'Donnell, the trainer, with a mark of 207 and two at Northfield Park, earnings of $1,600. Coming off an Ohio Cyrus start, Kelly O'Donnell driving overs challenger. The seven is a son of speed in action. Owned by Tony and Norma Raber of Strasburg, Ohio. Tony Raber trains. A mark of 205 and 1 at Northfield Park. Earnings of $16,000. Smiling Joe Adamski driving. Home fires burning. And the eight is a son of final score. Owned by Harry and Iris Harwitz of Brooklyn, New York. Tim Rucker, the trainer. Making his fourth career start here this evening after a fourth place finish in Ohio Sires last week. Debbie Rucker driving windy score. There's your field now. The second division win play show perfected trifecta pick three wagering. Six minutes now until push. Second division Ohio State trots lining up moving in. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off and at CSI. Dan the man away promptly for the lead from the outside. Home fires burning getting away second. From off the rail, trotting third, it's Overs Butler. Time Ania came away fourth. George's shadow to the outside is fifth. Stonehenge at the rail at sixth. At the rail in seventh, Overs Challenger. Wendy score the early trailer, trotting eighth as they round the first turn. Battling it out early here on the front end, and Home Fires Burnin looks to take that lead from CSI Dan the Man. At the rail, Overs Butler is trotting third. They reach the first quarter mile marker, 29 and 3. And Home Fires Burnin, uh, Damsky on the outside, still hung out there. And on the inside, trotting a second, CSI Dan the Man will now give it up for cover. Overs Butler trots third. Moving to the stretch, and Home Fires Burnin has a lead, but right there, CSI Dan the Man, a bit too tight, is now off stride and Overs Butler is now second at the rail with Timania out and moving. They approach the half and it's home fires burning by two. Overs Butler, the 60 to one shot at the rail is trotting second to half in a minute, two fifths and Timania has seen enough and here he comes now moving quickly. Timania surging right to the front here. He takes the lead a length Home fires burning on the inside. A Stonehenge is showing some trot now. Is third on the rim. At the rail overs, Butler and Wendy score is underway, trotting fifth. George's shadow is there sixth as they race into the final turn. On the front time, Mania has a lead three parts of a length. But there comes Stonehenge. The five to one now, moving up alongside three quarters at 130 and at three fifths. Midway to the final turn, and on the inside is Timania. Stonehenge is right there. Windy score on the outside in striking position. George's shadow is swinging four wide. Last Saturday, eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come. Stonehenge is looking for the big upset here. Timania is digging in. George's shadow makes an immediate left and comes to the inside. Here's Windy score, 30 to one, and uh, Windy score pulls up the first big upset of the night.
Ladies and gentlemen, Trackside is the official winner now of the second division of the Ohio State Trot, number eight, Wendy Score. A son of final score from the green speed mare, J.D. Sandy. He was bred by Don Mossberger of Midland Acres. Harry and Iris Harwitz of Brooklyn, New York are the owners. Tim Rucker, the trainer, Debbie Rucker in the sulky. His very first career win. And that in record time tonight, coming from well off the pace, trotting the mile in 201 and do one fifth. And trackside again to make that trophy presentation, the owner and the breeder of Wendy Score, Dr. Don Mossberger of Midland Acres. After reviewing the uh, video replay, the uh, judge's inquiry, of course, does not affect the top three horses, and the fourth race is official. The $2 Perfecta, eight three three hundred eighty-six dollars and forty cents, three eighty-six forty. The uh, Trifecta, eight three five four thousand three hundred twenty-two dollars and sixty cents, forty-three twenty-two and is 60. I'll have the order finish momentarily for the fourth race. Looking ahead now to the uh, fifth race. In the uh, fifth race, a driver's change at number six, SF Countess. This is a late driver's change at the upcoming uh, fifth race. Number six, SF Countess, the driver, Jeff Fout. Jeff Fout driving the uh, six, SF Countess, upcoming fifth.